Hello, welcome to Flower Juice. My name is John McDonald, and today I'd like to make a basket arrangement. And the flowers that I've got are really just a selection of flowers from my garden. And I was just walking around and I just thought, we've got so many beautiful colours and these beautiful sunflowers. And I thought, really, to pick something that's very colourful and make like a harlequin inspired sort of arrangement would be really nice. So garden style, harlequin colours and uh, this basket, I've been wanting to use this for a while actually because I think it's really beautiful and you need to find a container for going in it. Now I've decided to use chicken wire just purely because the flowers are better in water and what I've done is I've actually used a metallic food mixer bowl because it fits perfectly. If you wanted you could wedge that in with a towel as well but I've just used a little bit of tape so the chicken wire is basically held by the tape and that's holding the bowl as well. So the first thing we need to do is add some water. And we're going to make this quite full. So if you're making flowers or a flower design in chicken wire, you really want a good source of water and then you don't really need to worry about your design. You can just top it up with a little bit of uh, water now and again. So essentially we've got our bowl, we've got our basket and now we can start placing our flowers. So the ones that I'm going to place first are these beautiful sunflowers and these ones are kind of multi-headed and because these are quite big and heavy I really want to put these in first. We're wanting our stem to basically go nice and cleanly into the wire or through the wire and with this one actually we can split it down. I'm also looking at how things face as well so like this flower here I don't really want it to face backwards we want it to face forwards and even bringing this to the edge as long as everything's in water then that's the main thing. And we can use even this leaf as well. And when I'm saying this leaf, we'll just use this down essentially so that we're using that to help hide the, the edge of the basket. Now, when I was cutting my sunflowers, I found this, and this is like a, a hop style greenery, which I think is quite beautiful. So we will pop this in as well. And again, I just want this to be nice and secure and that foliage there can just land on where we've got the edge of the basket. So, we've got our big sunflowers and I also want to put in some of the single ones as well. And we've got a beautiful yellow style one that we can put in. So what I'm doing at the moment is really creating like a framework. So we're getting the height, we've gone to the edges, now we're kind of filling in and we're wanting something big for the centre. But what I would prefer to do here is bring in a little bit of filler so this is some solid ego and then we can go for our big focal flower, which is going to be this sunflower. Now if I face this forward and everything faces forward, it doesn't look natural. So we want a little bit of variation in all the flowers. And that will look so much more natural. And even, like say I put this one in and we have it facing back, that's giving depth to our arrangement. Now, with placing these sunflowers, now I can look and see and I can start to think about placing my other filler flowers. So again, I've got a couple of taller solidago. And we're just bringing these in. And I think we can probably put this on a slightly different angle. You want everything to radiate out from one certain point. 
And it's important to remove any leaves that would be underneath the water line. So we've got a good start to our arrangement. But I also have these beautiful thistles. So this is Eryngium. And we're going to bring this in. So as I say, like a Harlequin style, just using all the colours, really enjoying having lots of colour. And bringing in flowers from the garden is just a perfect way to enjoy your flowers, actually. So I got these corms, these gladioli corms, in our supermarket, and I've never grown them before, but I put them in and they've come up absolutely beautiful. And this one I just love. Look at the colour. Isn't that fabulous? So, yeah, we need to think where to put this one. Day was such a beautiful day, it would be nice to have a little change of location and uh, sometimes our little studio room can be a little bit echoey. So um, by coming outside, yeah we might have a little bit of wind but we don't have the echo. So. As you're placing the flowers, you just want to feel with the stem where things are going. This one's gorgeous. I feel really bad, but I need, to, I need to take one or two of these off. But there's no reason why you just couldn't float these in a dish and enjoy them. Just because you've cut them off for this one doesn't mean they're wasted. And I quite like these ends. Uh, the very first person I worked with, she always made us cut them off and I actually love them. I think they give a lot of uh, style and uh, interest. And they are really part of that plant. So you're showing the different aspects of that plant. Now let's have a little look. So we've got quite a full basket here actually. What I want to do is just take a little bit more of the thistle and just put this through the back. So again this take, helps take the eye through the design. And one thing I didn't want to do with this design was to really fill it with foliage. Um, it's very easy to use foliage and then end up with looking a little bit heavy. So with the foliage that's on the sunflowers, with the foliage that's there, it's kind of enough. We don't really need anything more. Now I spotted this rose and I thought it was just beautiful and I think we could put this in but we can break it down a little bit as well so I can pop a bud in here. Again, just taking a little bit of that foliage off, put a little bud in there. So I'm just bringing these little buds in down low and then we can look at where we want to place our rows. I think we want to go into the basket so that you have to kind of look in. Now. I'm thinking this looks quite full, but more is more. And uh, if we want it to look abundant and very floral, then actually 
more is more, and it's a good thing. So I've just got one gladioli left, and we can just have a little look here. And what I want to do is place him further back. Just to get that little bit of height. And there we go. We've got a garden style arrangement using lots of different flowers that are totally in season. We've got lots of colour and this would just make a fantastic display for maybe like an entrance hall or a side table. But something somewhere where you could really enjoy looking at your flowers and uh, enjoy having them in your home. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to subscribe then click here and we look forward to seeing you again soon.